Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm Rachel and Goma. I help purpose-driven female entrepreneurs get more leads and sales into their business. Today, we are talking about habits. So we got three bad habits that are probably sabotaging your success, three great habits to add to your day. And then I'll share with you a side of my business that has made the biggest impact by far, by far, by far. So let's start off with bad habits. And I want to talk about, I love talking about habits just because it really is the little things that you're doing on a consistent basis that are making or breaking your success. And it could be a bad habit that you need to swap out for a good habit. And so I forget what book, I think it's called the power of habits. Actually, um, that would be a good book for you to read, but let's just start talking about the bad habits. And if you're doing these, just comment. Yes, I am. And what's something that you could replace it with? So one of the things that I see that people are struggling with is they're just blindly following other people without really seeing the full picture. And this is something that I used to do back in my network marketing days is I would just see who was the most successful person in my company and just kind of copy them and do what they were doing. And I didn't understand the whole picture of what they were doing. I just saw what they were putting on social media. And so I was literally just copying and pasting and that did not work <laughs> at all. So you got to make sure like whoever it is that you're following, you want to find someone that can pour into you and be a mentor and not just follow someone and copy what they're doing. Cause just, well, I'm gonna tell you that did not work <laughs> at all. The second bad habit that I see a lot of times is course hopping. So you're buying an online course, you don't finish it, you see the next shiny object, you buy it, you don't finish it, you see the next shiny object, you buy it, you don't finish it. And I'll tell you, I I did this too. Um, and one of the biggest things that I'll tell you is I went through so many courses and I did finish a lot of them actually, to be honest. I am, I like to pride myself on being a finisher, um, but, the thing that did make the biggest impact was not courses. Like I'll tell you, I've been through like B school and marketing impact Academy and so many different things. And I left kind of a little bit stuck and still not sure what to do until I hired a coach and that like having that just more direction. Shoot. I knew so much obviously from going through those courses, but I didn't know how to put it out there. And so I want you to think, are you course hopping right now? And do you need to just friggin' bite the bullet and find a mentor and someone that could really guide you instead of trying to go the cheaper route, which isn't helping and just hopping from course to course to course, never really finishing and never really following through. So that's bad habit number two. And the third thing that I see, and this, <laughs> I did this too, okay? The thirst to learn everything and implement nothing. And so I was implementing a little bit, but I was so caught in just learning, learning, learning without actually taking action on the things that I was learning. And so one thing that I learned from Marie Forleo, who I adore, I think she's awesome, is you need to create before you consume. And so so she creates some form of content before she consumes someone else's content. And I love that just because a lot, like if you're not careful, you can spend your whole day going through courses or reading or just doing all these things that aren't really, like you need to make sure you have implementation time on your calendar of like, this is what I'm going to actually learn and grow. And this is where I'm going to implement. So make sure that you heard dogs barking. This is why I hide in the wine cellar. That's Toby. Um, so there must be somebody outside. So you want to make sure that yes, you want to learn. Yes. You want to grow, but you want to make sure that you're implementing what you're learning. Don't just learn, learn, learn without doing, doing, doing. Okay. And then the three habits that you need to add to your day. And I wouldn't start with all three at once because I know a lot of times with a habit, if you try to do too much at once, you end up getting overwhelmed and doing nothing. So pick one, get good at it before you add on habit number two. So habit number one is do a morning routine, wake up a little bit earlier. This is something that we're going to be talking about during the infinite growth challenge. If you haven't registered, go to joingrowthchallenge.com. but you need to make sure that you're being intentional about waking up before 
kids before crazy life gets in the way and really centering your mind. And so I'll be sharing with you everything I do during my morning routine during the infinite growth challenge. Habit number two to add to your day is to actually unplug, get outside and move your body. And this is one of my favorite things. I'll just literally put on music, kind of get in the zone and go for a walk, go for a bike ride, do something like that. A lot of times what I see, and I know I feel this myself is you get so like, just like just trapped in online and you don't actually take time offline and you end up just feeling for me, it was overwhelmed and I lost some creativity. And so when I'm actually unplugged and I'm outside in nature and kind of doing my own thing, that's when I get some really good ideas. So you want to make sure that you have that time scheduled in every day. Maybe it's just a half an hour walk or something like that. Um, but for me, like that time is secret and I adore it. Um, and then the third habit to add to your day is listening to personal development during net time and net time is no extra time. And so for me, this is what I did this morning. I took a shower and I have my phone right next to the shower and I'm listening to hold on what book am I listening to right now it the guy is a bad ASS and he's really like he, <laughs> he makes no excuses he's crazy it's can't hurt me by David Goggins he is hardcore holy moly um, but it's putting me in that space of like don't make excuses get her done um, so while I'm in the shower while I'm putting on makeup getting ready for the day I'm listening to that book and so think about all the time that you have during the day that is wasted time where you're cleaning or you're cooking or you're folding clothes you're going for a walk you're doing all these things right you could be listening to the she's making an impact podcast or like you know think about all the different podcasts that are out there that's free education free knowledge like take advantage of that oh my goodness get audible and listen to audiobooks that like you could get in an extra one to two hours a day of personal growth without it actually taking time out of your day without being able to actually sit there and read a book Okay. So, and then the one thing that helped me grow my business by leaps and bounds, like I kind of mentioned before was actually finding a mentor. <laughs> like that was the biggest thing, you know, I was course going from course to course to course. And I knew so much, oh my goodness. Like I knew so much from going through all those courses and attending events, but I didn't know how to actually implement it and monetize my own knowledge. And so by having a coach and joining a mastermind, that was the biggest, biggest thing. And that's why I'm so excited for activate launching in the next week and a half or so, um, because I'll really be able to pour into you and help you take action and get her done and make money doing what you love. So let's recap three bad habits, blindly following others without seeing the whole picture, course hopping, and the thirst to learn everything and implement nothing, and three great habits to add to your day, morning routine, get outside and get moving, and listen to personal development during net time. So which habit are you struggling with? Let me know. And which habit are you going to work on adding to your day? Let me know. And just a reminder, our infinite growth challenge is starting on Monday. So if you haven't registered yet, go to joingrowthchallenge.com. I hope you have an amazing day. I got to get ready. I think I'm going to go for a walk before I have my podcast interviews and all that good stuff um, and get my outside time. So have an amazing day and I'll talk to you later.